Now this is a 2009 Sky Redline, and we are changing the EVAP solenoid. And I thought I would just make a quick video to show what needs to be done. Um, you'll have to first uh, remove the bed liner, uh, the uh, felt liner inside the trunk. And to do that, there's really just uh, two screws that you have to take off, um, which which is right uh, right here. And this this here holds on to the uh, holds on to that. That's the strap. For the convertible top and uh, it, it looks like like that that's what it looks like in the trunk so you remove this this pops off there's a nut that goes around here you take that nut off I think it's, I don't know, 10 millimeters or 8, I'm not sure. And then you're able to pop this up. Okay, I got some molded mat. Then there'll be an access cover. Um, let me. And that's your access cover to your fuel pump. And there's five screws, metric screws. Uh, I think it's seven. Yeah, I think it's seven millimeters, the screw heads. You take those five out, remove it. You might have to pry it up with a uh, screwdriver. And in there is your fuel pump. And I found a bird's nest of mine. And... Uh, quite interesting so the birds must have got to it from underneath but uh, yeah it is so that was an Easter egg literally <laughs> and uh, and next what I did is I just used a oh some people use a Dremel let me grab it from the other side uh, but I use an oscillating I use an oscillating uh, saw. Some people use a Dremel with a cutoff, a circular cutoff blade. And I just went with the oscillating saw all around here. And there's your canister, your charcoal canister. And the solenoid, see if I can get this, the solenoid is just pushed into this little rubber coupler and it slides right there see where it slides in right there in that track so to take it off what you have to do is put a screwdriver and push this back so it'll, it'll slide off so you get a screwdriver from this side, put it right here, push it back, and then it'll just slide right off. You may have to play with it a little bit. And uh, so right now we are at this point. And I got a new one, a JDM Speed. And I think I got this on, I think eBay. Could be eBay. And it says it was being shipped from New Jersey. And uh, surprise, surprise, it, it, it came from China. So it took a lot longer than what they say. That's the latest scam on, on eBay. These Chinese sellers say they're being shipped from the United States. Um, so, but that's what it looks like. And this one comes with the cable. I'll show it to you. See that cable? This is optional on, on many of the other sellers. So you have to buy the cable separately. 
uh, you know, um, I'll let you know how it goes. It's like, a, I think there's some sort of conversion going on here. So I think you do need the cable. And uh, I'm going to stick this in, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, so you do need the cable. It looks like the connector is a different connector. So for the sky and solstice, I believe you do need this this pigtail, conversion pigtail. And that will plug into that plug. All right, I plugged it in. There you go. That's the plug. And now... I'm going to try with the camera. I don't know if you're going to see this, but I'm going to try and slide it in. This, this uh, outlet uh, needs to go slide into this rubber coupler right here. And then I got to slide the whole unit onto this track right here. So I'm gonna have to uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put you on pause. All right, I had it upside down. I was showing you the wrong side, but before I slide it in, there it is. I have it on the track. I have that aligned going into the coupler, and now I'm just gonna. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna just push it in. And uh, let's see. There we go. Ah, and that's it. It's in, it's plugged in. And I'm gonna give it a, uh, a test. I'm gonna try and fill up uh, with gas and see uh, if it flows in properly. My problem was it kept uh, tripping uh, the gas pump uh, to shut off and uh, because of pressure so and here I'm just gonna I'm gonna just get some I think I'm gonna try and tack it on uh, maybe with crazy glue and then and then put a bead of uh, like goop or some sort of silicone sealant around the edge of it and that should be fine I don't think there's gonna be a problem all right well I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions at all, just leave them uh, on the bottom. Take care now.